सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव पेज नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट अ डिस्टेंस जेड अबाउ द सेंटर ऑफ सर्कुलर लूप ऑफ रेडियस आर दैट कैरीज ए यूनिफॉर्म लाइन चार्ज लैम्ब फिगर नाइन ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स ड्रो द डायग्राम दिस इज सर्कुलर लूप ऑल राइट दैन दिस इज अ पॉइंट पी जेड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड हेयर ओके सो द फॉर्मुला द कंसेप्ट इज सेम दैट एज दिस इज यूनिफॉर्म लाइन चार्ज लेमडा which means we have to take a small portion and calculate electric field according to a small portion and then integrate for the whole surface then we'll get then uh, electric field for the whole surface all for the whole surface all right the formula is same so we'll use electric field as we know that first of all let's take out the components okay if this is angle theta This is also theta, and this is de cos theta. All right. So we get electric field, net electric field as the integration of de cos theta. All right. So what is, what is, what is de here? D is k d cube upon R square. What is R square? For I I I should say G square. Let be, this be G. G is equal to under root Z square plus R square. All right, because we have you already used R here. Okay, K D Q upon Z square plus R square. All right, and what is D Q? D Q is we know that lambda d x. All right, so K lambda d x. Z square plus R square, or DL we can write DL. Right. So now for net electric field we have to integrate this K lambda DL by Z square plus R square and cos theta. Here. All right. So let's cal calculate cos theta from this figure. Cos theta will be Z upon G, which is equal to Z upon. Z square plus R square. All right. K lambda by under root. Sorry. K lambda cos theta is this, and Z upon under root Z square plus R square integration DL. As this is a circular loop, so DL will give us two pi R. K lambda into two pi R into Z upon. This is. Multiplied by z square plus r square. I forgot that z square plus r square. One plus one by two is three by two. So net electric field on a circular loop z cap. I forgot to mention the direction. The net electric field in on a circular loop at a point P above uh, above z at at a distance z. On a point P above origin, or we can also say that it is axial point of a circular loop or a ring. The same relation comes when we take a axial point on a ring. All right, you may remember it from class twelve also. So this is the answer. See you in next video. Bye bye.